I was just reminded way back in the 1990s when Morgan Stanley Mutual Fund was launched. That was actually the first private sector mutual fund in this country. There was a hype and a very unnatural hype. For example, so much so people stood in lines to actually collect a form of Morgan Stanley Mutual Fund. So there was a hype then in the, in the 90s and that was the first mutual fund. That continues today and mostly hype works very well when it's a sort of a one-off uh, you know, buy. But I think hype doesn't really work very well when it comes to repeated uh, spending or repeated purchase because hype can mostly make you buy a product once uh, but after that it's the quality of the product that really determines whether people will actually do a repeat purchase. It's very difficult to maintain, let's call it a hype uh, throughout. Although some brands like Apple uh, they continue to maintain the hype. So that's an art, uh, but um, that only few, very few brands have managed to create. But for one-off spending, um, still hype can actually be something that can be worked out fairly well, but it's not easy.